Some of the very last Civics leaving Honda. 160,000 of them were made every year in Swindon, but today the Japanese car giant has ended production at its 370-acre site after 36 years. More than 3,000 people have lost their jobs. The closure announcement two years ago was an economic body blow for the region, but no amount of protests could convince bosses in Tokyo to change their minds. For Jim Brennan, it meant the end of a 13-year career. It was devastating, especially because we heard, you know, it was on the grapevine. One of the news channels had leaked it and it wasn't official. Jim now has an apprenticeship at local firm Recycling Technologies, which is taking on 12 former Honda workers. Michael was just at the start of his Honda journey as an apprentice when the closure was announced. We'd really just gotten, our, uh, gotten onto a, into a career that we were really enjoying, uh, that we were really excited about, really passionate about. Um, so it was like the, the rug had been pulled from underneath us and we weren't, we, just, we weren't sure what was going to happen, honestly. But although these workers now have new opportunities, others are taking their time. Honda employees have got generous redundancy payoffs, which means many of them haven't been in such a hurry to find other work. These are indeed unprecedented redundancy packages. We're talking about six and a half weeks for every year. They're uncapped uh, and enshrined within them. There's, there's all sorts of uh, other bonuses as well. So yeah, they are very, very generous indeed. But when remaining Honda workers do look for other work, there'll be competition because supporting this vast plant was a long supply chain, which has now been broken. A supply chain involving hundreds of other companies, like this factory at Highworth, which makes the car seats for Honda. It too closes today. At least 1,800 people in Honda's supply chain have been made redundant, but a local recruitment expert says there is work in Swindon for those who want it. I would probably say in the blue collar sector, so the lower skill uh, production workers, forklift drivers, drivers, there's so many opportunities out there with other fantastic local businesses. But many of these jobs won't pay anywhere near as much as Honda did. The company said it was shutting Swindon, its only European plant, because it now sells far more cars in Asia and America and it needs to focus production in its strongest markets. But this industry expert thinks Brexit was also part of the decision. Honda came here in 1979 because we just joined the European Union and they wanted to be part of the biggest market in the world for cars, 500 million people. So uh, like a lot of other car companies, they've reassessed that position now that we've left Europe. And that's a real shame, in my opinion. But Honda itself has never said this has anything to do with Brexit. Uh, none of the Japanese companies will say any of this is due to Brexit because they've had an understanding back in Japan with Mr Abe, uh, the Prime Minister originally, saying do not get involved in British politics, which is probably the right thing to do. Whatever the real reasons for the closure, Honda is going and the economic damage to Swindon is unavoidable. The challenge now, to attract other high-paying employers to fill the enormous gap that Honda is leaving behind.